On this day, October 5, 1919, Francisco Bográn assumes the presidency of the Republic. He was born in Pinalejo, Santa Barbara. His parents were Saturnino Bográn Bonilla and Saturnina Barahona Leiva. Graduated in medicine, married to Guillermina Leiva, daughter of former President Ponciano Leiva Madrid and Luisa Castro Acosta. Appointed as second appointee and served as president from October 5, 1919 to February 1, 1920. On April 4, 1919, the people of Honduras were called to general elections to elect the president and vice president. The conditions of the First World War had repercussions because the state of Siet had not been lifted in the major cities. To continue in control of the public administration, President Francisco Bertrán tried to impose the candidacy of Dr. Nazario Soriano. The supporters of Rafael López Gutiérrez started an armed movement backed by Generals Vicente Tosta, Gregorio Ferrera, and Ernesto Alvarado. During the months of July and August 1919, the country was again devoured by the flames of passion and political imposition. Armed uprising against Bertrand's government spread like wildfire throughout the country. By the intervention of the American ambassador, Thomas Sambola Jones, President Bertrand lives for the United States of America, depositing the executive power in a council of ministers composed of Salvador Aguirre, government, Jesus Bendaña, foreign relations, Leopoldo Cordova, finance and credit, Santiago Mesa Calix, war and navy, Federico Smith Vanegas, public instruction, and Hector Valenzuela. Development, public works, and agriculture. By September 16, all the ministers had submitted their resignations. A new council of ministers is formed, composed of Vicente Mejia Colindres, Governor Jesus Alvarado, Foreign Relations Antonio Bermudez, Finance Remigio Díaz Zelaya, Santiago Mesa Calix, and Vicente Tosta Carrasco. The new Council of Ministers appealed to Vice President Alberto Membreño, who was in Guatemala. Citing health reasons, Attorney Membreño resigns from the Vice Presidency and the first designated Dr. Nazario Soriano was out of the country. Faced with this situation, the second appointed Dr. Francisco Bográn Barahona was called, assuming the title of executive power on October 5, 1919. General elections were held from October 26 to 28. The candidates of the Republican Liberal Party, General Rafael López Gutiérrez as president and José María Ochoa Velázquez as vice president were elected. This was a day in the history of Honduras.